It's Magomed Magomed Karimov and Chris Curtis squaring off. Another leg reach advantage. We've seen this several times tonight. Maga brings five extra inches on the legs over Chris Curtis. The action man, though, not known for his legs. He's more of a boxer. In fact, Magomed Magomed Karimov said that's all he has going for him in his game. Lillian Garcia starts off our final welterweight bout of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final fight of the night. And it is a classic Russia versus United States of America matchup. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. His background is in boxing. Standing at five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds in 26 professional bouts. This veteran has an impressive record of 21 victories and five defeats with 10 wins by knockout. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Cincinnati, Ohio, and representing the United States of America, Chris, the Action Man, Curtis! His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a wrestler, standing at six feet tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. In 29 professional bouts, he has an outstanding record of 24 victories and five defeats with a perfect 6-0 record since entering the PFL. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, he is the 2018 PFL welterweight million dollar champion, Magomed Magomed Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson, the third man inside of our PFL Smart Cage. And this, our featured welterweight matchup on ESPN2. Magomed Magomed Karimov in the blue trunks. Chris, the action man, Curtis, Sir, you ready? Sir, in the you silver. Ready? Fight. A touch of the gloves and we're underway in our final bout of the evening. This is the fight I've been waiting for all week. Still a number one seed on the line in our welterweight playoffs. If Chris Curtis can finish this one in just 48 seconds, he actually jumps up to the top of the table. Maga has until uh, about more, a little more than halfway through the round number three if he wants the number one spot. Feeling out process. Now Curtis feels that his boxing is at a much higher level than Mega Man Karamov's but This is what Maga talked about when we spoke with him, that he feels like he can take down Chris Curtis whenever he wants. We'll find out now if that's true. We're interested, Curtis caught Magomed's leg. Magomed used that as an entrance to get into this takedown and, and clinch position. That's what you call high level wrestling. He, he caught the leg, threw it by, and tried to use that momentum to throw a nice little check hook. Missed, and Maga here is pushing him against the cage. Magomed Magomed Karimov, 6-0 in professional fighters league action. Relative unknown before this. And a formidable skill set that really doesn't appear to have too many holes. There are people of the opinion that he might have be the best all-around fighter on our PFL roster. Now look at what's happening here against the fence. Magomed, Magomed Karimov has the underhook, but Chris Curtis is using what Randy talked about earlier, that head control, that head position. He's keeping that head position, because with a shorter guy, you don't want the taller guy to have that head position on. Magomed just missed an uppercut on the exit there. Confidence builder for Chris Curtis to get away from that grappling exchange without being put on his back. A little sidekick is a new little trick. I haven't seen Magomed Karimov use that before. A stomping kick to the thigh and knee of an opponent. Overhand right. Now, when we talked to Magomed in the fighter meetings, he said he has some new tricks out there for Chris Curtis, and he's going to show us tonight. And that's probably one of them. Head kick lands on the back of Chris Curtis. Just got out of the way there. And a smile, which usually means, yeah, that got me a little bit. <laughs> he surprised me with that one. Body shot from Chris Curtis. Southpaw versus Orthodox. Curtis is the Southpaw here. Come on, level two. 
Curtis circling on the outside, head kick and a right hand for Magomed. Left hand just misses for Curtis. And I just heard Curtis's corner scream that that check hook is there. So as Magomed comes in, Chris Curtis to lead with the hook and take an angle at the same time. Left hand finds its way for Chris Curtis, just touches the face of Magomed, Magomed Karimov. Inside now, the Curtis corner. Hold in, hold your position. Kurt, I promise your hand. One, two, high. There we go, Kurt. Another entry there for Maga, thinks better of him. Used it to come up and, and hit that hook. Didn't land flush, but it was a nice uh, combination for sure. So an amazing speed, his dexterity and controlling the distance is remarkable. He does a great job at that program. He does, but Chris Curtis is starting to press a little bit more. I don't know if you recognize that, but he's coming forward, and I believe that he's getting comfortable in Magomed's range. I was interested to see if we'd see any changes in Curtis's stance. He's got kind of that boxer's posture. Doesn't look like he need to make that adjustment. Maga does drag him down to the mat, though. Nice. Head outside. Single leg by Magomed Karamov, and he turns the corner, runs the pipe, and puts Curtis on his back. Butterfly guard here for Chris Curtis, looking to create some space, kick away from Magomed Magomed Karimov. His corner asking him to pick his spot, not getting a big scramble, and leave himself right hand and a left come down from Maga. Curtis doesn't want to come up head first, because that feeds right into that guillotine. 10 seconds left here in round number one. Maga steps away and goes for a head kick to close out the first round. Curtis is ready for all of it. Fellas, it's one thing to say you're unimpressed with your opponent's skill set. It's another thing altogether <laughs> to show it when the round comes to a close. Curtis Sir, just right. posturing, Sir, walking right. forward, hands down against last year's welterweight champ. Yeah, he was fired up there at the end of the round. I'm not sure what, what triggered him, but he was definitely on the rampage. It's a confident man. Curtis gets the jab going a little bit here, feeling out this process. Already faring better than many of Magomed Magomed Karimov's Professional Fighters League opponents. Curtis brings a lot of confidence into this bout. Left hand and a lead uppercut just misses there for Chris Curtis. Sidekick there for Magomed Magomed Karimov. And now he's pushed Chris Curtis here against the cage right in front of us. Up and down, Magomed takes Chris Curtis's back. So one hook in. Both hooks in. Locked in now, body, body triangle. Get your hands on the shoulder. Defend the neck first. Defend the neck first. Defend the neck first. Eve Curtis looks pretty relaxed in his defense here, but. It's a tough position to escape. Very tough to escape. And because he has that body triangle, because Magomed Karimov has that body triangle on, that's going to be very hard for Chris Curtis to be able to turn and face or to peel those legs off. Which way does Curtis need to go here, Eve, if he wants to get up and out back to his feet? Well, Curtis needs to attack. He needs to bring both of their weight to the right side and, and put the pressure on that ankle of Magomed Karimov so that he can apply some pressure and possibly get Magomed Karimov to release that, that hold willingly. Turning to his left like this, that hold is gonna stay, stay tight. It's gonna be very hard for him to switch that position or, or turn around and reverse him. Curtis has a habit of talking to his opponents in the cage and I think he might have said a word or two to Magomed Magomed Karimov there. There is a language barrier between these two gentlemen. Magomed Karimov's English is probably just gym English, so maybe Curtis, Curtis is throwing some gym English at him. 
Magomed Magomed Karimov, 2018 welterweight champ, on the back of Chris, the action man, Curtis. Curtis is confident in his grappling abilities. Obviously, boxing is really his bread and butter, Randy. But he said he's been grappling every day for 13 years. Yeah, absolutely. He said he got submitted in his career early, and, he, and he's taken to grappling every chance he gets. Uh, said he's hard to submit. I, I suppose he's proving that right now. But he's got to get out of this position. This He's just, Magomed Karimov is just riding time right now, winning the round. Chance of USA coming down from the crowd here in Atlantic City. Maga continually searching for that neck. Ninety seconds left here in round number two. Good job fighting hands by Curtis. Protecting that neck. Curtis just complained a little bit. He just said, come on, man. I don't know why. Who's he talking to? Is he talking to Maga? Is he talking, talking to, to the himself. referee? Is he talking to himself? <laughs> he's got to be talking to himself because he's got to get himself out of this position. Referee is not going to stand to you up a, a body lock back mount. And Chris Curtis has to attack those legs. You're not going to get out of this position until you move those legs, separate those legs, and get yourself out. He's got to roll yeah. to the right side. Switch his hip to the other side. Put that foot on the mat now. That's there. Really, now he can put some pressure the there and hopefully peel that leg off just like that. There he goes. He steps on the bottom foot of Magomed Magomed Karimov. Maga re-secures the grip. And now he can fight the legs. There you go. And Magomed Karimov does exactly what he needs to keep the position. He fought to get it back. 30 seconds left here in round number two. Magomed Magomed Karimov riding Chris Curtis's back. Up. Closing out round number two, the same way it's been for most of this action. We're back in a few. So maybe a little bad blood brewing here in Atlantic City. Chris Curtis stood up between rounds and said, fight me to Magomed Magomed Karimov. Took a moment for them to get back to their corners and now the taunting begins for the action man. Maga stoic, unaffected by the taunts at least outwardly, but it's an interesting strategy. You're not going to get Magomed Karimov out of his game. He's going to fight his fight. You can't talk him out of it. You've got to make him fight the fight you want physically. You can't do it verbally. That stomping kick to the lead thigh of Chris Curtis lands one more time for Maga. Yeah, that fight IQ is too high to get to talk him into doing something that's going to put him in a bad position. Still using that level change and that shot to keep Curtis off balance. His level change and penetration is very quick and he comes right back out, ready to throw bombs, ready to throw hooks. Uh, Curtis has done an excellent job of stuffing some of those takedowns, minimizing the strikes that he's taking, but the offense just isn't there right now for the action. It's very hard to get your offense off when every time you get into an exchange, you've got to defend your legs. Head kick just misses there for Maga. Magomed Magomed Karimov pushes Chris Curtis back against the cage right here in front of our broadcast booth. Curtis Three minutes got, left in this fight. He needs to pummel in with that right arm, get to that underhook, fight for that underhook. Frame up against Magomed's chin, 
was a net with his left palm and pummel the right palm underneath to fight to get to that underhook. He can't let Magomed Karimov have this underhook up against the fence. Fun fact, if Maga continues his advantage in this fight and wins without a finish, wins by decision, these two will rematch in the quarterfinals of our PFL playoffs. Uh-oh. <laughs> nice. So all this heat is gonna carry right over. Chris Curtis in pursuit here. Maga, front kick to keep him away. A retreating Magomed, Magomed Karimov throws a check hook, but takes two in response. Back against the cage they go. Double, Double underhooks. Yes, Curtis has to pummel that left arm in, break that grip. They separate and back to the center of the cage they go. Two minutes left here in this final welterweight bout to determine our playoff bracket. Now this is the fight that Chris Curtis said he wanted and he thought he expected to see. Magomed Karimov throw just a few punches just to set up a shot. Anytime they get into these exchanges, he expects Magomed to attack his legs. He's staying just outside of the range of that long jab of Maga. Body shot explored there by Chris Curtis. Some fatigue maybe for Magomed, Magomed Karimov. It's a little wobbly here. A front kick to the face of Chris Curtis. 90 seconds left. Chris uh -oh. Curtis on the neck of Magomed. He's Maga. on the guillotine. Uh -oh. He's on that guillotine. Tight, tight. guillotine. That, that, is tight. Tight. that is tight. That is tight. Can Maga get out of this? He flips over. Excellent scramble, but Chris Curtis on top. Coming up on a minute, Chris Curtis has got to get to work. Magomed, Magomed Karimov finds himself in a precarious position for the first time I can remember. He's going to kick away, yep, and come up. He dives to the legs of Chris Curtis. Comes up with that underhook and attempts to trip. Right hand just misses and back to the legs goes Maga. He'll work around to the back of Chris Curtis. And that right there should be enough to to secure this position for the rest of the round. It's very hard to get a guy like Mega Man Panama off of your back. Hammer fist to the ears of Chris Curtis. Only 30 seconds left. Big knee to the body for Maga. Curtis is back to his feet. And Maga will send him back to the mat. Well, what did Chris Curtis say to us? What would Tony Ferguson do? Grab me roll to freedom? He's got to grab me roll to freedom right now, Chris. Yeah, right? He said that was his philosophy. Maga attempts to grab the neck with only 10 seconds left. And now Chris Curtis is talking. We're back in a moment with a decision. Our final Cajunomics stats, final fight stats here with a really intense matchup between Magomed Magomed Karabov, last year's champion, and Chris the Action Man Curtis. A lot of work by Magomed Magomed Karimov there, including four takedowns, which may prove to be the difference on the judges' scorecard. Eve, walk me through this first replay. Great takedown by Magomed Karimov. This is a position that Chris Curtis told us he was going to use his Tony Ferguson philosophy and Granby roll of freedom, but he didn't get to pull it off there. Magomed Karimov stayed on the outside, picked his shots, and then Curtis, he found out his range, he was comfortable in it, landed some shots on the outside. He was aggressive, coming forward with his hands down at times, looking to land big punches, landing that left-hand lead, and defending the takedowns immediately. That was his position that he got to the front headlock, but Magomed Karimov lands the front kick to the face. Muay Thai, that's disrespectful, but here, Right here, this is where Chris Curtis is on that front choke. And if he would have chopped that leg, it's very, very possible that he would have finished that guillotine. But Magomed Karimov dived over the top to escape, got himself free, was able to get back to his feet, and finally get to Chris Curtis's back. Lillian Garcia has our final decision here on ESPN2. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And the totals are... 30-27, 30-27, and 30-26. All for your winner by unanimous decision, earning three points in the welterweight division. Magomed, Magomed Karimov!
A decision victory for Magomed Magomed Karimov. So how does the bracket look in our welterweight playoffs? Regular season in the books. That's good enough for the number two seed for Magomed, last year's champion. Yeah. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.